dear students today we will solve one example of ratio analysis in advanced accounting and auditing paper 6 tvi bcom semester 5 v nirmit south gujarat university here is the question the following details of gayatri limited are available for the year ended 31st march 2012 number 1 cost of goods sold is 65% of the sales number 2 net profit after income tax deducted at 40% amount rupees 657000 number 3 opening stock rupees 440000 closing stock rupees 5 lakh equity share capital rupees 60 lakhs 10% preference share capital rupees 20 lakhs 13% debentures rupees 3 lakh 8% long term bank loan rupees 2 lakh share issue expenses not written off rupees 3 lakh retained earnings rupees 15 lakhs fixed assets rupees 80 lakhs current assets rupees 20 lakhs and stock turnover ratio 6.5 times from the above information we are to calculate number 1 net profit ratio number 2 operating ratio number 3 return on equity share capital number 4 interest expense ratio number 5 return on capital employed and last number 6 long term funds to fixed assets ratio dear students let us understand the question first here you are given that cost of goods sold is 65% of the sales but sale information is not available net profit after tax is given rupees 657000 opening stock and closing stock is available so we can simply calculate average stock that is opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2 then we are given stock turnover ratio so now with the help of stock turnover ratio and average stock we will be able to calculate cost of goods sold then from cost of goods sold we will work out total sales and then we will move to calculation of gross profit and then we will calculate purchase if required but i don't think so it is required over here so like this in reverse order we will calculate first average stock second cost of goods sold and third total sales and next gross profit students let us take a basic calculations calculation of cost of goods sold stock turnover ratio is equal to cost of goods sold divided by average stock stock turnover ratio 6.5 is equal to cost of goods sold and here we have calculated average stock that is opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2 so 440000 Plus five lakh divided by two, so we get average stock rupees four lakh seventy thousand. And now, let us put the data in formula. So six point five is equal to cost of goods sold divided by four lakh seventy thousand. So six point five into four lakh seventy thousand is equal to cost of goods sold. That is rupees thirty lakh fifty five thousand is equal to cost of goods sold. And now. as per the information cost of goods sold is 65% of total sales so here we will work out total sales is equal to cost of goods sold divided by 65 percentage so it our sales amount will be 33 lakh 55000 divided by 65 percentage so our sales would be rupees 47 lakhs and now our gross profit would be sales minus cost of goods sold that is 47 lakh minus 30 lakh 55000 so our gross profit amounts to rupees 16 lakh 45000 
now we will calculate first ratio that is net profit ratio and our formula is net profit after tax divided by sales multiplied by 100 our net profit after tax already given in the question 657000 divided by sales 47 lakh already we have calculated multiply 100 so our net profit ratio amounts to 13.98 percentage now our second ratio is operating ratio and our formula cost of goods sold plus operating expenses divided by sales multiply by 100 cost of goods sold already we have calculated that is 30 lakh 55000 operating expense not readily available sales already we have calculated 47 lakhs so now we will see how to find out operating expenses here is the working for operating expenses we have got gross profit rupees 16 lakh 45000 from this gross profit we will deduct net profit before tax net profit before tax this net profit before tax will be calculated using formula that is net profit before tax is equal to net profit after tax divided by 100 minus tax rate that is our net profit after tax is 657000 divided by 100 minus tax rate 40% 100 minus tax rate 40 percent so division by 60 percent so our net profit would before tax would be 6 lakh 57 thousand divided by 60 percent is equal to 10 lakh 95 thousand so our operating expense would be rupees 5 lakh 50 thousand my dear students this is indirect method of calculating operating expenses now let us put this data in our formula here cost of goods sold 30 lakh 55000 plus operating expense we got 5 lakh 50000 divide by total sales 47 lakhs multiply by 100 so our operating ratio amounts to 76.70 percentage now third ratio is return on equity share capital and our formula is net profit after tax minus preference dividend divided by equity share capital multiply by 100 our net profit after tax already given in the question 657000 minus preference dividend rupees 2 lakh that is preference share capital multiply by rate of dividend rupees 2 lakh divided by equity share capital already given in the sum rupees 60 lakhs multiply by 100 so our uh, rate, uh, rate of return on capital employed would be 4 lakh 57 thousand divided by 60 lakh multiply by 100 it would be 7.61 percentage our next ratio is interest expense ratio and our formula is interest expenses divided by sales multiply by 100 so our interest expense in interest expense interest on debentures 13 percent on 3 lakh rupees 39,000 and interest on loan 8 percent of 2 lakh rupees 16,000 so total interest amount to 55 lakhs 55 lakh divided by sales 47 lakh multiply by 100 so our interest expense ratio amount to 1.17 percentage our next ratio is return on capital employed that is roce our formula is earning before interest and tax that is net profit before interest and tax divided by capital employed multiply by 100 here is the working for ebit first we got net profit before tax already we have calculated that is 10 lakh 95000 in this net profit before tax we will add debenture interest 39000 and loan interest rupees 16000 so our earning before interest and tax would be rupees 11 lakh 50000 and our capital employed equity share capital rupees 60 lakh preference share capital rupees 20 lakhs retained earnings rupees 15 lakhs 
डिबेंचर्स रुपीज थ्री लैख बैंक लोन रुपीज टू लैख सो टोटल अमाउंट वन करोर माइनस शेयर इश्यू एक्सपेंस दैट इज नथिंग बट अवर फिक्टिशियस एसेट्स रुपीज थ्री लैख सो अवर टोटल कैपिटल एम्प्लॉयड अमाउंट्स टू नाइंटी सेवन लैख नाउ लेट एस पुट बोथ दी डेटा इन अवर फॉर्मूला इलेवन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई नाइंटी सेवन लैक्स मल्टीप्लाई बाई हंड्रेड सो फाइनली अवर रेट ऑफ रिटर्न ऑन कैपिटल एम्प्लॉयड अमाउंट्स टू इलेवन पॉइंट एट सिक्स परसेंटेज नाउ अवर लास्ट रेशियो इज लॉन्ग टर्म फंड टू फिक्सड एसेट्स रेशियो एंड अवर फॉर्मूला इज लॉन्ग टर्म फंड डिवाइडेड बाई फिक्सड एसेट्स मल्टीप्लाई बाई हंड्रेड लॉन्ग टर्म फंड All that is our capital employed. Already we have calculated that is ninety seven lakh and fixed assets already available in our information given for the sum that is eighty lakhs multiply by hundred. So our long term fund to fixed assets ratio amounts to one hundred twenty one point two five percentage. That's all, dear students. Thank you very much for watching this video lecture. very soon we will meet with another example of ratio analysis